What is up guys, Dax here, and this is my first tutorial on this channel. I'm going to be doing it over oil paint because a lot of people have been asking me. They all want to know how to do it, and it's actually a pretty, I mean, it's a pretty easy effect. It's just pretty time consuming, so if you don't want to watch this whole thing, I recommend just like saving it as watch later and watch a little bit later because it's probably going to be like a 10 minute tutorial. But, um, yeah, as you guys can see, I got a Mac. It's my Mac. Look, lay the specs on it. It's pretty, it's pretty fast. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more of like tutorials and getting into graphics like a lot more than I used to because my old computer is really slow. And so, yep, let's get into this. And also my mic. I hope my mic is okay. Uh, it, it's the one built into the iMac, so, so far I've tested it out and it sounds pretty good, so, yeah. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do, go MoGraph, MoText. And also, if you want this Lightroom, it's in my GFX pack, it's on my channel to the right, right here. My exclusive GFX pack, it's kind of old, it's like two months old. I'm gonna be getting a new one out around like 300 subs or something like that. But okay, I'm just gonna type Dax, it's gonna font real quick. Oh my gosh, <laughs> uh, Dreadworks, yeah. Okay, I usually make the depth about about. 30. Yeah, 30 looks good. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do is in my Lightroom, it's just going to have a bunch of these blank and it's called, I don't know what they're called, but little blank materials. You just want to click one. And after you clicked it, go to color, which is right here. Go up to here. I'm going to make it blue. You're just going to want to make it blue. And that's all you do to the material. Just plan that. Drag it over onto your text, and then you're gonna get one more of those. Go to the color, go over, go down to like a kind of darkish gray, and then drop that on there. And make sure it's over the blue, because when we throw see it, it's gonna be like the outside's gonna be blue, and then the broken text inside, no, 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 outside's gonna be like dark gray, and the inside's gonna be like blue, so. Okay, um, after you do that, you're gonna get, want to go to plugins, Thrasy, and then Thrasy it. To me, a good number is like 50 to 60. I don't like doing 70 because that's just a lot. Well, YOLO, let's do 70. Okay, put the 70, click random seed. That's all you do in here. And then break it. Oh my god. You have to make sure you have the text selected, but okay. Oh, um, there's my dog. She'll shut up in a little bit, but just break that text. And now we wait for it to break. And right now, if you haven't, please subscribe to me because I've been working on a pretty good GFX pack and I'm going to let it out like 300, 400 subs. And it's going to be really useful. It's going to have some really good, like, just all kinds of stuff. It's, it's gonna come with a new Lightroom that I've been working on also. And yeah, just a pretty good pack, so subscribe and yeah. Okay, now that you have the broken text, you're gonna wanna go to MoGraph, Effector, and then Random. Okay, and see how there's a bunch of black little X's? That means that that's, that's unselected, so now it's just the text. You're gonna want to break, click all those and it's going to be big broken text. You see that? Okay. Now you're going to want to put it down to about, I usually do it like on three, and you just do that on this little strength bar. You put it down to three, and then, yeah, that's that. That's the text, but, okay, second part, you're going to want to click random, and then select all of these, and a little trick I use is you click the top one, hold shift, and then click the bottom one, and it selects all of them. And then you're going to want to do Control-C and then V. 
that's if you're on a PC. If you're on a Mac, Control or Command C V, and then it, du it duplicates those. Okay. So now that it has those top ones selected, you're gonna want to bring it back. Not exactly all the way, but just like enough right about there. You're gonna want to select random and move it up to about just whatever feels comfortable to you. It's gonna make the back of the text kind of like explode and you want some of it to be in front oops you want some of it to be in front of the text but you don't want all of it just like a couple little pieces looks pretty good so yeah I'll say right there probably looks the best and please if I'm going too fast just pause the video I hope I'm not I just this is a really fast tutorial I want to get it done within like 15 minutes but yeah, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, for all you guys on the PC, just be jealous about how fast this renders. Because it renders really fast. And it's... Ah, it's like heaven. Yeah, as you can see, that looks really, really good. Uh, if you have any problems, or you can't figure something out, you can comment, and if it's like too in-depth, I will, you can add me on Skype, Daxbra, and I can help you out with some stuff, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, where did my stuff go, oh well, at least we're over, what the heck, where did it go, okay, yeah, that's it for this, now I'm going to, I'm going to pause it, actually, if you guys don't, don't know how to render, then go to that little settings thing, and then we're gonna save it. Save it as Dexter Tutorial. And this is also pretty good, just like Drowsy Tutorial, because, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much what I do with your uh, Drowsy. Okay, now that you've saved that, it's on 1090p intro. Okay, now we're gonna click this middle one. Wait, I'm gonna make sure all of it gets fit in there. Okay. I'm going to pause this, and I will be back when it's done rendering. Okay, that text is done rendering now. It looks really, really good. And, uh, I went back and listened a little bit, and I kind of sound like a robot, not gonna lie. Which, I don't know. I don't know if that's annoying or if that's cool. I think it's cool, but... <laughs> okay, uh, don't say. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is open up your files, pictures, okay, it's right here, open, okay, you're going to want to put that in the Photoshop, which another way to do it is just file, and or just import, import, and then you're just going to want to put it in there, but, um, okay, now you're going to want to go down here, make a new layer, and then get your brush, make that, Make your brush size, like, pretty big. Well, that's really big. Okay, this is big enough. And then you're just going to want to make sure you're on a new layer, though. You can't do it on the uh, text layer. Okay, now you're... Oh, oh, no, no, no. You're going to want to get the white and color over it. Oh, okay. Now, right-click that layer, create clipping mask, and then you're going to want to go to... Right here, layer styles over there, and then overlay. And it just brightens it up a little bit. You can turn the opacity down a little bit, but I like it around 80. But um, yeah, so now you're gonna wanna click that, hold command or control, and then right click it, merge layers. That way it's one layer. And then you pick it up and drag it into your, where you're gonna put your background. And then, I really don't want to make this too long, but it might have to be. <laughs> okay. So there's that. It looks really, really good. And um, now you're going to want to open up a pack. So my, I use my pack. You don't have to use it, but I have all the stuff that you're going to want to use for this. Because, yeah, it's the best stuff to use when you oil paint. 
And I'm not going to go in too depth with it, I'm just going to show you the effects I use when I oil paint. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So first of all, like I'm saying, I'm, this isn't going to be a portfolio background, this is just going to be real quick. After this, I'm just going to close it down, so it's not going to be like my best background ever. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Color correction real quick. If you ever do get my pack, Grungy Blue best color correction ever. It's like the only one I've ever used. Because you can go in it and you can change the colors and it's really good, but that's not that's not the point of this tutorial. Okay, I got a color correction. I'm not going to put any stocks. I mean, I might, I'm going to put like one stock that I use. But best thing I do, I use these. You put them under, under your text. These look the best when you oil paint them, the sparks. You don't want to make them like too big and noticeable because then it just looks kind of ugly. But you just want to put it like right there. Get, get it again, duplicate it. Okay, control T. And then that makes it so you can like move it around, flip horizontally. And then you want to move it over to this side. And I mean, yeah, right about there, looks good. And then, you're going to want to get just some more sparks. Right there, okay, go in there. -da 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 -da. Just kind of put them around the outside. Turn the opacity down a lot on these ones because you don't want them to be too noticeable. <clears throat> Duplicate that layer, control T, flip horizontally. Okay, I'm really going to start going fast because we I need to get this done. Okay, usually I would put flares, I would put stuff over it, but not in this one. Alright, the last thing I would do is get this stock, because this one works really well with... Uh, okay, you're going to want to put it behind everything, all the way to the bottom. And then you're going to want to turn the opacity down to about... 2... Let's see... About 20, if you're using this color, nah, 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 15, if you're using this color correction, and then that's kind of it with this, and then, okay, you're going to want to do a lot more than what I did, because that's what you do on backgrounds, but I just need to get this done fast. Okay, file, save for web, which makes it the best quality, and then PNG24, and save it, save it. <laughs> okay, now it's probably gonna be in my pictures. Okay. I'm gonna put it in After or Adobe Photoshop CS6. Okay, now just duplicate the layer. Okay, now you're on this layer. Filter, oil paint. Control and then just click and it zooms you in. Ah, too far. What about there? And see that already? That looks really good. But usually when you start it out, it's gonna have like like that. You're gonna want to put the scale all the way to ten, the bristle detail all the way to ten. The shine has to be a zero or else it looks really ugly. Angle direction leave that at three hundred. Um, stylization, you can bring it up as high as you want. I mean, if you go too much, it just starts looking kind of ugly. Um, I like to leave it around 2 to like 1. And this, the clean, clean, cleanliness, yeah, that. Bring that and print it to like 1. Stylization to like mm, 1.30. And yeah. That is pretty much it with this. I mean, if you, that's that looks really good. Uh, you can do a lot of things with this, just play with it, mess around, and yeah, so please leave a like and comment if you watch this whole thing and if this helped you, let me know if it helped you, and please let me know if you want me to do more because I really, I think I explained things pretty well, and I feel like it could help a lot of people, but yep. This is my first tutorial, and it's over oil paint, and yep, it's pretty
pretty much it. This is Daxter, and I'm out.